Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices. It is going to be my daily forecast there for Tuesday, July 12, 2022. If you like support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and all my trades and my portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's look at the, let's start by looking at the NASDAQ. And as you can see, we dropped quite significantly today. We ran into the 50 moving average and then just fell off a cliff. We are down roughly 2%. And at this current stage, it looks like we are heading towards the middle of the bullish band first, 11.6K. After that, towards the previous bottom here of 11.3K, and then towards the bottom of 11 came that is basically where we saw the bottom in 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 uh, in june if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is still bullish the casting has crossed the signal line is become is bearish and the momentum is also bearish here in the rsi so things are changing and uh, it's kind of looks like um sellers are just waiting and uh, to enter this market when we get towards the 50 moving average like we got here. Uh, however, if we manage to break above the 50 moving average and uh, get a green candlestick above that, then we may go and test the 12.9K. Um, after that, it is towards the 200 moving average. But at this point, it looks like a typical um, sell on, a, on these rallies as we had a fairly good rally uh, last week and hit the 50 moving average and now the selling looks like it has started yet again so there's probably more room to the downside than there's to the upside at this current stage if we look at the s p 500 very similar here we saw we have seen rallies up towards the 50 getting sold into to the 20 simple moving average getting sold into and now yet again towards the 50 moving average and starting to get sold into as well so if you break below here, then we will most likely test this area here. So this is roughly 3,747. And this is down here at roughly 3,668 or 70. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bullish. Stochastic has crossed the signal line being in is bearish. And the RSI is bearish as well. So momentum is taking to the downside. 50 moving average offering resistant. So is the 20 moving average. And the question is whether or not we break below the 20 moving average now and head towards these previous lows. If you look at the Dow Jones, it is uh, somewhat uh, more resilient. We're only down 0.42% at this current stage. Uh, we also hear 50 moving average is resistant. Same as the 20 moving average. We have rallied above the 20 now and are getting rejected here just close at the 50 moving average but we have not seen the massive fall in the dow jones as we have seen for example in the nasdaq so dropping below the 20 simple moving average could open the door to the previous lows here of uh, 30.4k then towards the 29.6k to the upside 50 moving average if we manage to take the out the 50 moving average we have an area here which should offer a massive amount of resistant roughly from 32.5 towards 33.2 after that is the 200 moving average which most likely will travel in this direction so if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is still bullish stochastic is bearish and the rsi is bearish as well so momentum is technically to the downside we're just um, still in the bear market and the people are basically selling these rallies so let's look at uh, at the um, the european market and as you can see we rallied up towards the 20 simple moving average and today we got fairly hammered we are uh, fairly hammered so the 20 simple moving average is offering resistant so my last analysis was basically that these two moving average are most likely the ones that are going to cause resistance so we are it looks like we are breaking down from the 20 simple moving average if we manage to break above that then we have the 50 here which almost certainly will uh, cause a lot of resistance that's also fairly close to the very bottom here so if we were to rally above here then probably 13.3 is as high as we will go if we break well 
below this uh, double bottom here and then kind of watch out below we'll probably drop all the way down to the very bottom here of 11.4k and then towards the 10.1k and then all the way down towards 8.2k here's just the bottom up um, where we bought them in, uh, in 2020 if you look at technical indi indicators they are fairly all over the place macd is uh, bullish at this current stage in negative territory stochastic is becoming bearish and rsi is bearish as well so there is not a good outlook for the european economy uh, especially and there is uh, certainly going to be or is already uh, energy crisis in europe that most likely will get much worse before it gets better if we look at the japanese yen uh, yen uh, the nikkei i mean uh, we can see that we hit the top of the bull in japan and then got rejected quite significantly we have seen this several times um 200 moving average has offered um, resistance moving in this direction you see that right here it has offered resistance and also here and then then we have the 20 simple moving average moving in this direction that also has offered resistance and the 50 moving average in between we are in a, a gradual um, decline here in the nikkei um but it has not definitely not been as, uh, as aggressive to the downside as for example um, the european the european market or the united states market in indices so 20 uh, 200 moving average and the 20 simple have all offered uh, resistant and as we are in a gradual decline here is most likely that we'll head towards the bottom of this range which is roughly at the 24 25.4 AK uh, and so on if we were to rally then the 200 moving average will most likely well we'll find a significant um, significant resistance if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is a bullish stochastic is becoming bearish and the rsi is flat at this current stage so on to the vix vix has completely turned around um today we have been falling the last uh, uh, six trading days and now we rallied and are up roughly 3.65 percent so we may see this rally and run into resistance at the 50 moving average or the two uh, and the 20 simple moving average around here 28.46 if we break down from here then the 200 moving average at 24.56 will most likely come into play and that's probably as far as this will go we are still building up uh, for higher momentum even though we have an area around this range here which has offered significant resistance if we manage to break above that then we may go all the way to 38 and 40 as well but at this current stage it looks like we're turning around if we manage to break above the 50 moving average we may go towards and testing this area yet again and the consequence of that is that we'll probably see a lot more red as in the as volatility will increase and the fear factor will increase as well Technical indicators we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is become bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at the 10 year. It has completely fallen uh, off a cliff today, down 3.45%. Um, and at this current stage, we may go and retest this bottom. As you can see, we tested it here, here, and also here. And now we have broken below the 50 moving average, so we may well go and retest this bottom again if we break below that then we may go and retest uh, or test the Fibonacci retracements so we can see that the 50 is down here at the uh, 2.588 and the 61.8 is down here at the 2.376 um, uh, so um, yes uh, not really what i expected for from the uh, the 10 year um i did expect this to rally above and probably go and retest at the top here but uh, it has completely turned around and uh, that's kind of saying a lot about the outlook going forward for for interest rates if we look at the uh, technical technical indicators we can see the macd is bearish stochastic is bearish and the rsi is bearish as well so momentum has completely changed to the downside today so hope you find this helpful you're willing to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button above button this see our news this good luck and thank you very much